how many people recognize this device? Booyah, Gen X baby, keep it real. Do you know you're going to be a doctor when your speak and spell does this? <laughs> right? <laughs> my parents are both doctors. See, I mean, you're destined. I think my dad reprogrammed it. Now spell, why act, you know? And <laughs> the interesting thing about speak and spell is you can't understand what the hell it's saying anyways. Like, it could be saying cat, and it'll sound like why act. And then you try to spell guayac, and it's like, the correct spelling of guayac is C-A-T. You're like, ah. But, you know, it's interesting, because my dad is an internist, like myself. He's also Indian. I know, you guys are thinking, Z-Dog? I thought he was black. Ah? But, so did I. But, <laughs> you know, so I asked my dad, I was like, Pops, I'm going to be talking to a bunch of ER docs. I don't know what, what am I going to do. He's like, let me tell you, <laughs> these people are total animals. Like, <laughs> when they hear an internist talk, all they hear is wah, 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 admit, wah, 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 admit. Let me tell you. <laughs> so he said, I will give you some advice. First, you must develop respect. I said, I can develop respect. I, he said, don't wear that stupid cap you wear in your videos. He goes, I recommend a bow tie. I said, all right, I can do that. <laughs> How's it going, governor? Yeah, if I were talking to a convention of 1930s paper boys, this might be a perfect... So, you know, my mom, of course, is also a doctor. She's a psychiatrist, which, you know, of course, explains a great many things with me. Most importantly, it explains why I was always grounded in 72-hour increments when I was a kid. <laughs> and, and, and if it was really bad, it would get extended to 14 days. I could never figure it out. <laughs> Lucky I learned to cheek my meds early on, you know? You know, so I really wanted to like psychiatry. I was like, you know, this is going to... I'll do this, because it sounds easy. You don't have to touch people. And, but then I get in the room in, in medical school, and I'm like, God, this guy's rocking back and forth, smearing feces, hearing voices, he's homicidal, you know, and that's just my resident. <laughs> now this comes to the serious part of the talk, physician burnout. Y'all experience it, I experience it, it's a problem. And what is the fundamental problem? Too much work, too little us, right? That's one fundamental problem. Well, how do we find a solution to this? I took a lesson from my dad. He's like, you have a cousin in Mumbai. He's a very good doctor. I said, okay, let me, uh, let me outsource some of this. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Uh, is this the medical center? Oh, greetings many times over. <laughs> I am Dr. Smith only. What is paining you today? <laughs> I was like, oh, you know, I, I, <laughs> I emailed you my chief complaint. You know, I said, oh, acha, acha, but... Uh, there is one problem. I am thinking you are to be needing gynecology. Like, well, why, would I, why would I need gynecology? Well, this was the chief complaint you sent me. <laughs> Let me read it to you. It says, I am having a... No, stop. It's pussy discharge. <laughs> pussy discharge. So, you know, there's a cultural... We'll work out the bugs, don't worry. The other problem with physician burnout is emotional exhaustion. It makes empathy difficult to do, right? So what's the solution? Outsource. <laughs> now here it gets a little trickier. Here at ZDog MD Industries, we have a new device. And it is called the EMP2000 Empathy Robot. <laughs> and the philosophy is, it cares, so you don't have to. Now, what we did is we actually poached some of Disney's best animatronics animators, and we had them design a series of empathic facial expressions based on scans of family practitioners. Now, we st <laughs> They are the best at pretending to care. I tried it on emergency department physicians, but there were two problems. One is the goatee kept flummoxing the scanner, and the second is you guys just don't care. <laughs> You don't even pretend, just... <laughs> so, it's a simple device. You put in the ICD-9 codes for the diagnoses in the back of it, including the MR number, and you send EMP-2000 in the room. And it looks a little something like this. <laughs> Greetings. 
I am the EMP 2000. It is nice to meet you, Mr. Williams. I am understanding, based on my review of the literature, that you are suffering from gout. This can be a crippling illness. I understand also that it is very difficult to live with arthropathy not otherwise specified. <laughs> Guys, I'm out of time.、Uh, it was a real pleasure. <laughs>